All right, let's talk about the Giants' pass rush. They had six sacks last week against the yeah. Commanders. How does the Jets' offensive line match up against that? It's going to be communication because we know it's not coming in a traditional fashion, right? It's not coming like the Jets with just four guys maybe running some line stunts. It's coming with safeties coming, overhang safeties, linebackers coming. It's coming from blitzing. So you have to make sure that you communicate, make sure that you have your antennas up. I want to see Zach Wilson get to the line of scrimmage early, smoke him out, change his cadence. He did a great job last week uh, against the, the Eagles and getting them to jump off sides. So you want to get there and be able to smoke some of these guys out and make sure that you make the big play when they present themselves because you live by the blitz, you also die by the blitz. Yeah, you know, Bart said at the top, you know what's coming. This is a team for the Giants that they blitz almost 38% of the time. That's about top five, top six in the league. They blitz almost half of the passing plays they go against. So they know when they have you in a passing situation, they're bringing pressure, and they bring it in a lot of different ways. It's not always just a linebacker on the edge or a linebacker coming through the A-gap. They'll blitz from the slot. They'll blitz safeties. They'll blitz corners, really mostly safeties. So I think you have to be aware of that and you have to throw it hot. You got to be very, very careful of how much pressure they're going to bring, but also where it's coming from.